Okay, this is the first video in a series of videos on techniques for developing a physician workload tracker. Probably one of the most key elements to the whole project, uh, for those of you who are interested, um, would, would be the obtaining uh, up-to-date data for the CPT codes, the description, and the work RVUs. Well, the best place that I've found is on the cms.gov website. And um, by going to Google and searching there, you'll come up with the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services official site. And uh, clicking on that will bring up this website and with a search for the RVU value in their uh, search box, or RVU 2014 will come up and uh, that will give you a list of pages actually. And the top one is RVU 14A. Um, and if you click on that, you can find the download area at the very bottom of the page and uh, RVU 14A update. It's a zip file. If you click on it, on my computer, there's, the um, files are extracted. And, they are, and by <clears throat> double-clicking this, it opens it up in the download file. There's a number of uh, files here in this, in this folder. Um, and frankly, I haven't really looked at all of them, but the one that's really important is this 1586KB. Um, and uh, if you do Control A to select them all and then Control click here to unselect this one, right click on the, on the other ones and delete them, you'll delete 15 items. What you're left with is this PPRRVU14. And uh, it's an Excel worksheet. And if you open that up, if you have Office on your computer, you'll come to this and enable editing. You'll come to um, this page, which is the 2014 fee schedule. And there's a number of boxes here. It starts on A and goes all the way across to AE, okay? And um, most of this is extraneous data that doesn't really do much for holding our, for what we, for our purposes, but um, you can start deleting things almost right away. If you hold down the Shift and the Alt key, well, that's not what I want to do, it's the Shift, Alt key, and then just click up you can delete all this at the top. Now the ones that you're, um, you know what, what you're, let me just go over this first. What you're really interested in is row F, row A, row C, and row F. So let's do it this way. Let's do the shift alt and go all the way to the end. Let's go this way really went far. Yeah. And then right click and delete. And so we've deleted all those rows. You can delete this column. Delete. You can delete this column. And you can delete this column by right click and deleting. So, um, and you don't need Shift Alt these boxes. Okay, and there's probably an easier way to do this, but that's what it is. So you have three columns, and the column A is going to be your CPT code. There's a lot of extraneous data in here, but if you go all the way to the bottom, you can see how many rows there are. Um, Let's go down to, yeah, there's uh, 15,000, 15, that goes on, 15,866 rows. And some of them have values, some of them have zero values. So now that we have this, you can, um, you can go to your file and save it as on the computer on your desktop. 
and you can give it a, a meaningful name, RVU XL 2014. So it's really not just RVU, it's CPT descriptions and RVUs. But let's put it on our desktop as an Excel worksheet and save it there. All right, and um, we can dismiss that and dismiss that and actually dismiss that. And um, here's the RVU Excel 2000, and I'll just double click on it to make sure that it's it's what we just worked with and um, and there it is. All right, so uh, having done that, let me just um, get rid of it. Having done that, uh, there's one other program that's generally available within Office. It's called Access. Access is a relational database. Um, and for this purpose of making a work RVU tracker, you really don't need to do the relational aspect of it. We're not trying to relate records. So in many ways, it's just a flat file. And um, this is the backstage, if you will, view. And uh, if you click on blank des uh, desktop database, and you can name it, um, CPT, CPT 2014 Excel download. Um, how that should, let's see if that'll work. Create, good, and it should create a blank database or blank table. And uh, you don't even need this one, so you can close it. So you have an absolutely blank database. There's no, there's nothing in it. So one of the first thing to do is to create something in it. So you can go to the top uh, pull down windows and go to external data. And we can get external data from our desktop. So the beautiful thing about Access, it's, it's really a, a wizard program. So many times it'll satisfy um, your, your your problem just by bringing up a wizard. So this is brings to get external data Excel spreadsheets. That's easy. So uh, we know it's on the desktop, and we know we called it RVU Excel. So if you just double click on that, click OK, and it gives you this data in uh, I believe it's comma separated form. So here's your CPT codes, here's your descriptions, and these are going to be your RVU values. You don't want first row containing headers, so you can just go to the next, and it, it, it'll highlight, black in here is highlighting, and it'll, it'll offer you an opportunity to name your field, and this one is going to be the CPT. And the data type is a short text. Okay. If you click here, field number two, this will be the description. And we'll just call it description. And it can also be a short text. Short text, I believe, is 255 characters. OK, this one is um, the RVU values. We'll just call it RVU. And its data type is a double. And double refers to the fact that there's a. it's not a single, it's not an integer. It's a. Uh, a number with a decimal point. Okay, so here we have three: the CPT, the description, and the RVU. And you want to let Access assign a primary key? Well, there's no need to do that. We'll say no for that because we're going to we're going to work with the primary keys ourselves. And then go to the next and um, import to table. Okay, well let's call it something else: TBL, TBL data. Okay, and we don't need to save the steps because we're not going to do it again. And there's our first table. If you open it up, you have CPT, description, and work RVUs. And if you look at the bottom here, there's 15,867 records. 
and you can search for records 99024 is post-op follow-up and just because it'll be obvious later I changed that to a one now if you can see it's kind of all uh, truncated here if you just move it so that it's a across you can double click and then it'll expand it out so that's post op follow up visits and it'll collapse it down too okay so <clears throat> one of the first order of business is to uh, remove all the values that have zero that have zero you're really not interested uh, as a physician in generating rvu values that have a zero output so um, to do that um, it's pretty simple. <clears throat> you can close this and you can go to create and then there's brings up this drop down thing that looks uh, kind of busy, but uh, what you want to create and, and you can create a number of things. You can create a table, you can create a query, you can create a form, and you can create a report or you can create a macro. But what we want to create is a a um, and we don't need to use the wizard here. We can just I think we know what we're going to do. So we can just do query design. And by doing that, it, it asks you to show the table. There's only one table. You can add, and then and for whatever reason, it makes you close it. And here's your property sheet for that table. Um, which one of the a little shortcuts is you can double click up on the top here on the table, and then it'll put these in pink. Right click and drag down to this right click and drag down to this area and it'll put all your little fields in and what we're looking for is those RVU values that have a zero value and uh, we haven't yet named the query uh, but you can check the design and there's a little button here called run and it's going to run this query it's going to go to that table and find out every RVU value that equals zero simple as that so you hit run and here's all these rvu values and it'll give us a number here in a second yeah 7970 okay well that's fine that's fine so um what you want to do is uh, go back to your design view if you right click up on the query one it'll say design view and if you do if you do this as a not as a select query, not as a make table or any of these, or do it as a delete query. So what this query will do, when you run it again as a delete query, it will go back to that table, the TBL data, and it will find all those records that have zero and will delete them from your table. So all we have to do is hit the run button and we'll probably get an error message. Yes which is exactly what we want. You're about to delete 7,970 rows. And, and each one of those rows has a RVU value of zero. So that's exactly what we want to do. Click yes. And it doesn't look like much happened. And we can just close this and it's going to ask us to save it. And there's actually no real good reason to save it. You don't even have to save it. So we'll open back up our table and we'll look here at this number and it went from 15,000 and something to now 7,839. Well, that's great. Okay, so we've really gotten rid of a lot of CPTs that we don't want. And some of these are actually these hick picks, these ones with Qs and, and um, if you hold, if you click here, this is your first RVU value, this one, th one, one zero zero two one FNA without imaging. So if you, you can individually delete all these, although you can hold down the shift key and just, I think, go all the way to the top. Once you start it going in the blue color, click here, yeah, and then hold down the control key and right click and delete. And all of those records can be deleted at once, and you just say yes. All right, so now we've deleted those records. All right, so we're paring it down. Now, one of the unfortunate things about this is there are 
duplicates. There are duplicate records. I don't know, it'd be hard to search through here and find duplicates, but trust me when I tell you there are duplicates here and you don't want duplicates in your data. I'm going to save that and close it. Close it. And do one little, another little trick. You can right click on TBL data, copy it, and then paste it. And it gives you this little, little questionnaire here. It says copy data, and you have some paste options. Structure only, structure with data, or append data to existing table. What we want is structure only. Okay, we're not going to, we're going to copy it, but we're going to copy it just the structure. Nothing, nothing, none of those 7,000 records are going to be copied over, just the format. So we'll say OK, and it'll make what's called a copy of TBL data. And if you open this, you can see there's no records here, but it has the, the field headings of CPT, description, and work RVU. All right, if you close that, Oh, one more thing. If you then open that and go to the design view, and if you'll notice, there's um, there's no primary key. I think we might have mentioned that earlier. So what you want to do is assign a primary key to the CPT code. And that is primary key right there. So you can right click on it and assign a primary key. And then you can close it again. And do you want to save a copy? Yes. OK, so we've made a change to it, and so we save the copy. Now, the data is still on the clipboard. The, when I copied it and pasted it, it's still in the computer's clipboard. It's a large clipboard, but it has a lot of data. So if I go again and say paste with this, the copy highlighted, at this time, I'm going to append the data that's on the clipboard into this record. And it's going to give you an error message. There you go. OK. Access was unable to append all the data. There were 819 records that will be lost due to key violation. Key violation means that they were duplicates. Access will not allow two CPT codes with the same name to be reproduced in the same record because that is the that is the the key um, was the key to the um, to that database. So we'll say yes. It doesn't look like anything happened, but if we open this database and look at our number, now we have 6966 and it makes this record that we don't need at the top. So actually, when it comes down to it, we now have trimmed that 15,000 and something records that we downloaded from the uh, cms.gov website to single value all these CPT codes, des describe a, a description, and there's an associated 2014 RVU value. All right, one last thing to be done. You can save this and close it. And now you can even delete. You can right click on TBL data, delete it. You don't need it anymore. There's a big clipboard, you don't need it. And you can now rename this one. You can't do any of that if they're open in this palette area, but if they're not open, you can do, do these renaming and deletings. All right, so we'll just get rid of all the copy of and open it and save it. So now we have just one record. All right, well, that completes the techniques by which you can download a uh, Excel spreadsheet from the cms.gov website, delete the extraneous records, and delete the um, uh, extraneous fields in the Excel spreadsheet, and then import it into a table for, which I, we've named TBL uh, data. And you have a CPT code, description, and a work RBU. Well, thank you very much.